I have this theory that I tell people all the time when they're thinking about becoming an entrepreneur or thinking about getting in real estate investing or whatever it is, they're thinking of getting started. And that is don't start your business before you start your business. Here's what I mean. I'm actually going to talk about it in two contexts because I'm an entrepreneur and it happens to be that my uh, business is in real estate investing. So I'm going to use a couple of examples from both business and real estate investing to kind of drive home the point that I'm talking about. So as far as business goes, I tell people all the time that I had about 173 business ideas before I actually started the one that worked, the one that I have now. And what I would very often do with those other, all of those ideas is I would get an idea in my head. It's like, okay, I'm going to start a business doing that. And I would start creating the business before I was actually doing what the business was, if that makes any sense. Here's an example about that. I, you know, I do business consulting sometimes too. And I had a friend one time who was wanting to be a life coach. And she was spending so much time trying to get the perfect website, trying to get the perfect everything going on. She wasn't actually doing any life coaching. And it's kind of like, well, first of all, you know, so many different industries, but like the perfect website isn't going to be what drives your clients. And what you really don't want to do is spend all this time and effort getting all the logistics set up if you don't even know that this is going to take off. So in the case of my friend trying to life coach, so life coach a couple clients, even if it's a friend, say, hey, can I give you an hour of free coaching? And you know, you kind of give me feedback or whatever, offer a couple free sessions. Get the business going before you start the business. Is that, are you following? So like the business in this case being the actual coaching, the actual thing that's gonna make you money. The other business word is the logistics, the website, the LLC, the the structure, the employees, the whatever. Don't start your business, the logistics, before you've started your business, the thing that's gonna make you money. How does this play out in real estate investing? A prime example I hear all the time is somebody wants to buy their very first rental property. And their question is, should I start an LLC to put this rental property in? Maybe, maybe not. But either way, my vote is that that is so putting the cart before the horse because you, this brand new investor who wants to buy a rental property, you don't even know yet what makes for a good rental property. What are the risks? What are the risk mitigations? Where should I buy this rental property? How am I going to do this? All of the things that are actually required to successfully invest in a rental property, you haven't even learned yet and you're wanting to start an LLC. So two problems. Number one, you focusing on all the LLC logistics, because that's a whole nother thing to learn, is taken away from you learning what's actually going to get you a successful rental property. And then the second thing is that you might do all this time and effort to start the LLC after all this research or whatever. You don't even have a property yet. So what if it doesn't work? You know, how many people out there have LLCs for things that don't actually have anything underneath them? Don't start your business before you start your business. So get your first rental property, get your feet wet, get things going. And when the time is right, if you feel like you need an LLC, do it then. It's not required to get the rental property. So is this making sense about don't start your business before you start your business? So going back to the 173 business ideas that I had before the one I, that ended up working, I would come up with a genius idea, genius. And I would start putting together essentially the business plan. I might set up the website. I might do all these things. I might have this whole plan for how this business isn't going to work, but I haven't actually yet made a penny. So is it possible? The answer is yes. Is it possible? I do all this work creating the business before I actually have the business and that business never even happens. A lot of things can look really good on paper, but at the end of the day, they may just not work. So when I think about my business now is, you know, when I started it, yeah, I got a pretty basic website, but it was actually, I wish I'd taken screenshots of it. Thinking back now, it's, I would love to see that old website. It was terrible, but I didn't need the perfect website because if you need the perfect website to make your business a success, your business probably isn't all that successful. The business needs to get going and, you know, so you're essentially reversing the order you do things. Start with the product. If you're selling shoes, if you're um, 
I don't know, even if you're a multi-level marketer, how many multi-level marketers create this whole plan around how they're going to sell a gazillion dollars worth of this product and they haven't actually ever sold the product. So my company, you know, versus the other 173 genius ideas I had, and I created the business before I started the business, my company that I have now, I started it all myself. I didn't outsource. I didn't have employees. I came up with this really kind of janky website, did all that. The business was happening. And really how I got in my business in the first place was I was making money doing what I do before I even had the thought of it becoming a business. So the business, the making money part existed before the business logistics part. You still following? So make, see if you can make money. So if you have a genius business idea, cool, but see if you can make money doing it before you create all the bells and whistles, the LLCs, the entities, the logos, all of that stuff, because I can't tell you how many people I see making the logos, the websites, the entities, all of that stuff before they've ever made a penny. You want to make sure that you're going to make a penny before you build the business. Same with real estate investing. Get that first rental property. Make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure it's going to stick. Maybe you get one rental property and you absolutely hate it, which is possible. You absolutely hate it. And you're like, real estate investing is not for me. See you suckers. Well, at least you didn't spend all that time and money making that LLC. So again, don't start your business before you've started your business. Make sure that you're going to be able to make a penny doing whatever genius idea it is, or maybe it's something you're already doing and making money. Build it from the ground up. Don't put the whole pie in the sky creation before you have started the business.